No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is that Blaze? Yeah. Oh, Lizard, you fell into Blazin's trap. That's what happens when you nation moon and the host lets you back on. I haven't lost a single brigade, and my Blaze has already lost 50 brigade. Oh, guys, don't take anything from me, please. Sorry. I'm <laughs> 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 joining the Dempsey Hug Club. I want, I want a 1,000 character oh, but, yeah. minimum apology. And then no, we'll no, take no. on his country. It's I don't have to apologize. I got punished enough by half my brigades getting stack wiped and encircled. <laughs> Come on. Not green force. 100 but, brigade I mean, advantage. This, this raises a point. Like, he didn't have to go through all the rule shit. You could have just fought the war and won. See? Well, we delayed that and we got PLC to form to and we form. occupied uh, DM. Well, the PLC England. really helped you guys. I was well, I mean, he did. He's the funny of war that lost. None of that shit mattered. We had a hundred brigade advantage in Burgundy. We should have just won. Uh, Green Force and Sparta moment. That's why. They yeah, they played really bad. Oh, we were shit. able to outmaneuver and circle because people weren't putting troops in basic locations and stuff. To be yeah, fair, Green... we we stretch our lines so thin with the ones the circlements half the time. Yeah, exactly. Between Green Force and Sparta, like a hundred and fifty of our brigades were controlled by AI, basically. I've done my coping. I'm not going to insult anyone anymore. anymore. Greek cores now. That's nice. Also, do you want me to do the Dalmatia transfer in the same war or later? Later, later, later. I need to become a fucking great power to form Italy. Yeah. I'm gonna become a great power before you. What the fuck? I don't want that. I don't want that. Can I humiliate you? Wait. No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna fix it. It'll help us both. But I'll <laughs> go to sanctions, so I can't do it. Maybe I'll overtake the dual monarchy. Bohemia walks again. Only slightly tanked my literacy. What, what, dude? The Albanians are literate, and by literate I mean eighteen percent. Guys, you're actually taking something from me. Add it, and we'll peace out. Uh, are you gonna add anything no. on uh, Venice? Are you follow no. rebels? Okay, then peace him out. I changed. I got events. Oh, here's the white piece. I got my Greek accepted events. Changed government to republic again. I'm San Marco's republic. Oh shit. <laughs> This is what happens when I get the Greeks before I form Italy. It was an honor fighting you. Yeah, good war. Fuck, dude, that was stressful and extremely hype <laughs> near the end. There were some serious skill issues on my lines. I couldn't contribute much as Venice to help. Oh, I got Izmir as cores with an event. Did I? Wait, hold on a minute. No, Greece got the cores. Oh, for fuck's sake. If I took my event after Greece got cores, I would have gotten a core in Izmir too, because I get cores on everything Greek has cores on. I, I can't give you any money because Sparta's about to back I didn't step. ask that. I want you to build factories in me with my money. Is Sparta just attacking you? Is it because he's justifying Listen, I can't join this. No, I don't want you to join. I can kill him 1v1 because he sucks dick. It's going to be epic. This will be an interesting war. But if you want to build military factories... Unless, unless fucking Dempsey joins the fucking rat.
Okay, yeah, like I'm literally like <laughs> literally just waiting for uh, for him to peace out and then I'm off. Green Force, this is why people don't respect you. Yeah, you troll the country and then rage quit. I didn't like, try to troll it, but why would you happens, leave this happens. country? I've seen worse countries than this. Uh, yeah, but like there's like there's no recovering at this point. It's 1848. Let's get another player on it. Can we get somebody who isn't dog shit then? Calm down. Bit rude in it. The thing is, I can't even migrate to Africa at this point because. Why would you migrate to Africa? That's retarded. I was just to fucking you about that. That's even more retarded than leaving. And you're saying you're gonna leave, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. I just. Can you build a machine, uh, fucking ammunition factory in Asia Minor before you leave? Can you at least uh, stay for this session in just one hour? Alright, I'll like half actively uh, stay for like, an hour, I suppose. Just kill Provence and rebuild your army. Research medicine, that's good enough. Still not medicine? No, he didn't do medicine. It's a green forest country. <laughs>
<laughs> dead people <laughs> tend to be angry He's about the fact that they die. Cope, cope, cope. Quite literally, cope. Russia about to beat the the Ottomans. I support you. I'm going you southern expansion route. I have to. I literally have to. You went southern expansion route. Another blow for the Ottomans. Damn. Another hour. Hey, he, 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 he just took shit just from himself. He did that to himself. Way to kick a man while he's down. <laughs> Yo, where's my five attack? Oh, there he fucking is. He fucking disappeared off the map. I'm completely destroying the armies, but my supply line is a bit fucked himself. So. Of course, by the time we finally get off of one speed, another war starts. Hey, I'm the Hescassel player, no! <laughs> what about the province of Bayreuth where there can be in sacraments? Roll moments. You know, this is Captain Ben making moves. If Ca oh, is Captain he... Ben's running Bohemia, what? Board. Honestly, that's bad. How is he able to join it if he's truced? And he didn't join the call to arms. Uh, about Bohemia he, retreated. No. He doesn't he have one with Danubia. with Danubia. I think he wiped peace out the war. Like yeah, no truce. Let, it, let it be a one v one. Let it be a one v one, Ben. That's Sparta hard. BTFO. Should I follow him? Up? I don't know why I'm losing this hard. Say the line, Bart! Skill issue. Diagnosis skill issue. Because you're attacking a hell over a river, that's why. Can't be that. Skill issue, yeah. Simply a difference of vision. Just get the roll tech, Bart. Did you feel a little ashamed? He's actually getting blown the fuck out. It's over for Sparta. Breaking news, Sparta blown out. Sparta bros destroyed. He's fallen back to the Alpine Festung. What is the Burgundian player called in this game? Captain ben. ben. Captain Ben. So Fake the people who told me it was Big Weevil. 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 You thought it was Big Weevil? What are you talking about? I asked in the other chat who is playing Burgundy, and they were like, oh, Big Weevil. I've been shitposting you for they, the past hour. They probably said DB. They probably said DB. He doesn't even know who neighbors him. That's Captain the absolute ben. state of Green Forest right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I yeah, did Gosselet. start thinking quite a bit. Dude, we have messaged with each other like in the last I 30 minutes. Gosselet that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a burning memory. Cool about it. Simply a difference in mental ability. Memory issue. Simply a difference in inebriatedness. Does anyone know where in which chat he is? Uh, <laughs> I'm right here. To you. Onions, onions, Indeed. call me in. Basically, onions, what I'm trying to get in. at it. Can you give me fucking access already, you cunt? Oh my god, Burgundy's in this, for fuck's sake. Captain Ben Morda. That's great, this war. Oh, what the fuck? Why is Burgundy in this shit? <laughs> I do not trust Sparta. I don't want him to be powerful <laughs> in, in Germany. But you've become the one not to trust. Burgundy, when are you gonna form <laughs> Italy? Never. Uh, rank 11. I need to be fucking the great power. <laughs> Failing to form Italy season 2. I genuinely ball. tried, Spargan. I genuinely fucking tried. No, you didn't. Tried what? Oh. What was I saying? To win. Oh. What did I say? At war? Oh. No, because oh. like you, you said, you said you weren't forming Italy anymore because no. the nation is fucked. No, it's not. I just can't it's get a great joke. power. It's a prestige issue. <laughs> Simply a difference in prestige. Can I justify a humiliate on someone? Who wants how to be the humiliated? fuck is how? Uh, no, you have to catch up to Poland, don't you? Moogles, just send me the just the I am. humiliate on me. Yeah. Why are we I am. I'll transfer you the humiliate after the war. Okay. <laughs> Typing Manchu War. What's this? Oh. So there goes the United Front. The instant surrender this or anything, right? Because I'm I'm assuming that's what Blaze is wanting to do at this point. I'm I'm gonna go to the channel. Midnight. Um, what's what's Chinese for nation like ruining Poland. midnight? Uh, uh, <laughs> Peng? spot like that, man. Is Ben Spambot? Would I rather have what? a strong 
a, a strong Sparta in and, Germany. And you, you did you become on strong? Me at any moment. No. It's Sparta, I am it's working cool. on it. I just got five prestige. I got five boys, five prestige. What the fuck? Look at Southern, Southern India. God damn it. Wait, Wait, wait. Uh -oh. Uh oh. I can allow a Savoy to form Italy right now. Well, don't, don't do it. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You whoa, should whoa, do whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Want to trade anything for it? If you're going to do yeah, it, I'll okay. we'll give you money. Not to troll. Wait, 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 wait. I want, uh. Fucking hell. Let's not go through this. I want help. I did try to help I'm you about in that just, war. I'm a, yeah, yeah, but I want more now, because... Yeah, just threaten your ally to form a formable over them. That's a good way You're to play You're my the game. ally? Yeah, we fought a war Correct. together. I, well, I fucking assumed like that you wouldn't be my ally anymore, like, because... What? My nation is dead and all that. Green Force, what? My nation well, is dead! this is strange. Green Force, what? your nation Green has Force? doubled a pop of mine, it's not why, dead. Why are you dooming so hard right now? It's an alcoholism-related thing. Uh, what about this though? Uh, are we rehosting right now? No. No, no. <laughs> like, uh, oh, no. If I can rock Italy, like, you could just swap nation, can you? What, what was the peace deal? Switzerland. Yeah, um, <laughs> Bohemia didn't take anything? Nope. What? No, that was a transfer, wasn't it? What the fuck, no. man? <laughs> Green Force, why do you never know what's going on? <laughs> I'll call Haven't I said this multiple times? <laughs> You've hijacked. been hijacked, Onions. You've been hijacked. Like onions was the war leader. He accepted that piece. Look wait, 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 what? Look that's not, that's, 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 good for that's Burgundy, because now that they're both the weak, fuck? I can kill them both. Onions was the war leader. He chose to use that CB. No, Ooh. Onions was okay with it. We talked it out. We agreed on that piece. Type thing lost that war lizard. How the, the fuck do you lose with a third of the brigades? I don't fucking buy it. I saw that he lost. It was an embarrassingly bad okay, loss. Okay, but but how? Just just tell me how. What happened? Well, we've seen worse this game. I think unit concentration. Donkey face is bad, but he's not that bad. I mean, Jesus Christ. No, I mean, that was legit. Wait, I'll just let it go. Wait, wait, three speed? Spend about three speed? Just to clarify, for next session, are you gonna put a Taiping player so I have to deal with the same Wait, 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 wait. Kring's killing Taiping. Yeah, I know, but he, uh, like, there's precedent for it, for him coming back. Back for 100? I'm here. Oh, he's chain wine. There's a train warring in the rules. I mean, if that's not a dead country, Whoever I don't just know said my is. name, I didn't hear what the fuck you were saying. That was just a voice in your head. I don't have chain war rules, you should enforce them. That, that's a chain war, I want that white piece, man, but is he in it? No, he's not. Ugh. I don't think you understand just how much stronger than like half the nations in the game you are, and you're saying you're a dead nation. Sparta race, man. This is like losing Did Poland and Russia and saying you're a dead country. It's Sparta I lost all of England. Please tell me rage, but... Yeah, I think just, it just play the Danubians. Yeah, and start again. I did. I did. What are the rules regarding uncolonized territories? If I can, you move into hostile territory from uncolonized territory. Yeah. Yep. What's this? Really? No, they're going. Really? They're starting a player it's war so they bring the speed. He down. joined it over Eritrea. Can you fuck? Can we go for speed anyways? Uh, hey, Scandy, yeah, can you join me, wait. man? I suck your pee pee. Yeah. <laughs> DM surrendered. Scandy, call me in. Oh, he surrendered immediately. What did he deck for? That's fucking A's, actually. Yeah, what's the rules? What did he deck for? Come on. A hundred. Is, is this a serious? Yeah, what did he deck for? A hundred. Is that, is that nation man? He decked for like a thousand. <laughs> he wrote like several zeros. That counts as well, he has to take a thousand. Yeah. What the fuck? Did Sparta I quit? Fucking yeah. people said they wouldn't join, but here we are. Did Sparta it's quit? Called lying. Sometimes join, people do what they said they wouldn't do. Green yeah. Force figures out what lying Especially is. your massive rivals who would take a chance to join war. Uh, I'm gonna go to a previous autosave, because I'm not what? gonna stand for this. I'm gonna kick him from the nation. What? Based. You fucking yeah, rich! That's nation ruining though! I want to migrate to Africa because I'm losing Europe! Shut up, shut up, Green Force. You know I made a fucking deal with Burgundy! I, I, I've i been planning! Green Force, you Can realize how retarded divide. migrating oh, Europe is? It's over. From Europe when you're that big of a country, right? You're it's over. Can you tell me if I'm kicked or not then? I'm gonna... It's over. One month before... before uh, Even if you didn't want to quit, I'd say you should be kicked anyways. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's over. Wait, who should be kicked? 
It's over for the Green Force, bro. We are kicking Fat Guy. Green Force is really a nation ruin. I don't think this is fair. Fat yeah. Guy, you're out. We're kicking you. We're not standing for this. No, you're so we're fat guy That was males. too good. Sorry, my bad, dude. I shouldn't have won you so hard, Green Force. My bad. Man, my head hurts. Plus, we got a Sparta rage quit again in this game. <laughs> <laughs> did he, did he <laughs> seriously fucking rage quit? Yeah, I don't know oh why he did his country God. so great. So the Green Forest dual monarchy era of this campaign comes to an end. He led the nation to two defeats, the last of which was so terrible it sent him into a spiral of alcoholism, rage, confusion, paranoia and ultimately his abdication as the player on that country. As so many people tried in vain to point out to him that country was not dead, it was not over. It's entirely possible for a fresh new player who's more competent and gifted in diplomacy and war to take this country and turn the situation around. But until that player is chosen, the dual monarchy and the campaign in Europe is in a state of uncertainty as we move forward to a new phase. And it's also going to be a new phase for the Danubian Confederation. Now I can't romanticise and make a story out of that rage quit, that was just stupid. But we can analyse that interesting little war between Bohemia and the Danubians and then Burgundy that joined. It started out really well for the Danubians, they just simply pushed a small Bohemian stack that moved across the border in plains. But then the Bohemians fell back to hills and that was a much better battle for Bohemia. The Danubians never recovered from it, they retreated. And they managed this follow up battle in Regensburg very badly. He should have massed all his active brigades in it and cycled the depleted ones out. He did manage to retreat back to his mountains to try and recover, but by that point Burgundy was in and he missed his chance to beat Bohemia. But the peace deal was the most ridiculous part about this war. First of all because Bohemia didn't take anything and he was satisfied with Burgundy getting two regions. And secondly because this was a lenient peace deal the Danubians got off without losing that much and that still caused him to rage quit. I don't know the diplomacy between Burgundy and Bohemia and the Danubians that have caused this mess, but maybe we'll see what happens later. The alliance that fought the war of the scale issue together is in absolute shambles. It was such a bad war that Venice doesn't even exist anymore. We had to change our name to the San Marcos Republic. But let's talk about all the development and changes that happened in my country in this episode. And a lot of things did happen. First of all, I finished the literacy research functionalism, but it's also a requirement to get the Greeks accepted in court, as I did. But it's almost as if Divergences of Darkness considers this a negative event because I lost prestige and had to rebrand and reshape my country to fit the Greeks in, apparently. And I've even lost the coveted Merchant Republic status and I'm now merely just a Republic. So at the time, I did not consider that the prestige I lost from taking this decision actually prevented me becoming a great power to form Italy. But it's what I did after that that completely cemented my position as a secondary. After having finished all the cultural researches that I could, which was very good for the development of the country, getting my literacy up and the national focuses and the research points, I decided it's about time to do some military tech so I don't fall completely behind on that. I decided to restore the academia to get rid of my research modifiers, which gave me a boost to culture when I was researching that but would have given me a negative to military tech which I was about to do. It's a really good decision for the research, but one small problem, I lost even more prestige, which has delayed what should be a free formation of Italy even longer. Long enough, in fact, for a very interesting decision to appear on the dual monarchy's desk. He was able, if he wanted to, to form Italy out of Savoy, the AI. Any dual monarchy with a normal functioning brain in this situation wouldn't even consider clicking that. Not even to let me nation switch onto it, which is even more stupid because I'd lose all my development I've made on Venice including the Greek pops, but thankfully that dual monarchy is now gone and I'm still here. There's a lot of stupid things going on this campaign and a lot of really questionable decisions, but this is just the early game. The people who are being stupid are gradually leaving the dual monarchy, the Nubians. Sometimes really unfortunate events such as the ones that you saw in this video can bring down a campaign completely, but if the host can keep their composure and replace those players who are less than ideal, then the campaign will get better. And how do you keep the will to live when you're going through this in the campaign itself? Well, you have to have people like Spade and Hungary, so you can just sort of sit back and laugh at all the silly stuff going on. Onions, Bohemia versus Sparta, Danubians. The battle of the skill issues. The battle of the incredible minds of victory. And then meanwhile, PLC is just fighting his own rebels. <laughs> One unfortunate, but not campaign ruining, event that happened was Poland-Lithuania's constant rebel problems, including the Peskov rebels that broke away and allowed Russia to form. In a way, this is one good bit of karma from the War of the Skill issue, where Poland-Lithuania tried to get Peskov and then join an American war to prevent any repercussions from Russia, 
and that he completely lost when the war did happen. But due to the other fronts winning, he didn't lose anything. The PLC was too busy killing those masses of Bohemian patriots in Silesia to be able to deal with the Pascovians. So in a way, we might even be seeing this bingo card unfolding about a great power dying to rebels. Speaking of someone dying to rebels, let's have a look at what's happening in China. During the War of the Scale issue, I saw a brief glimpse of another war that started in Eastern Asia between Japan and those two Chinese nations. I wish I'd seen more of that war because it was crazy. A huge Qing rebellion was what forced the Japanese back to Korea. But then Japan managed to push back out again and that technology advantage that Japan has, as well as being able to field a full artillery army with all the tech, simply just melts Chinese armies. So Japan won that war, which was a bitter personal grudge match between these two players. And this was the peace deal. And then the two Chinese nations started fighting amongst themselves, with Japan keeping a very close eye on it to make sure no nation ruining was going on. For example, it would have been against the rules for one of the Chinese nations to let the other beat them. Now, it is actually beneficial for the Chinese nations to fight each other, even though Japan is coming in, and that is because they can get research points from conquering each other's land. And the one thing that Japan fears is any of the Chinese nations westernizing. So the war between the two Chinese nations was legitimate, despite the Qing winning a shocking victory where he was completely outnumbered making it look like potential nation ruining from Taiping, but it was simply a scale issue. After beating Taiping and taking all that land, the Qing declared war immediately after to take even more with those never-ending Chinese conquest casus bellies. But this time Japan stepped in and prevented it. Why? It's a chain war. So that follow-up war was white pieced, and that's in Japan's interest to prevent Qing getting more research points. But that chain war rule doesn't apply to the AI, and as we end session 2, there is not going to be a Taiping player next time. That country is finished, and the Qing has risen victorious in China. That's it for part 5 of the Venice series, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. There is some big news regarding the Patreon stuff for this series. The bonus clips compilation from parts 1 to 4 of this series was just released for Patreon supporters. I used to call these the deleted scenes in previous series, but someone suggested to call it something more positive to attract more of you to support me on Patreon to watch these very funny clips. When I edit these videos and narrow down what I'm going to use in the final video, there's a lot of clips that I think are still funny, but they're just absolutely nothing to do with what's going on and they don't fit into the video. You could say it's more like watching a Bill Cohen video or something like that. If you join my Patreon now, you'll get to see these bonus clips from the Venice series, but also all the stuff from past series like the Muscovy series and the American Bloodbath. I think it's a really good deal. And you can also follow me on Twitch and join my Discord and all that stuff. Thank you very much. That's all for today. Goodbye.